In previous session, we've learned how to use MATLAB to find the roots of a polynomial. In this session, we're going to solve the general case of a nonlinear equation in the form of fx equals to 0 using the f0 function, find 0. For example, assume that we have a function of the form, we have an equation of the form fx equals to x squared minus 5 e to the power of minus x plus 1. And we'd like to find the root of a single root of this equation. f0 generally is in the form of f0 and it accepts a function which is the definition of our equation and x0 is the initial solution where the algorithm starts to search and there are some options let's take it simple and let's define the problem and solve this what was the problem finding the roots of this equation let's define the f as a function of x which returns x to the power of 2. We define this using the dot notation to make possible the vectorization if it is needed by algorithm. x squared minus 5 e to the power of minus x and plus 1, I think. And that's it. We have this. If you use easy plot f, you will see that this is an equation in this form and if you make the grid on the equation has some roots here very close to one you see it's about uh, 0 0.95 and let's check if f0 can find this root okay f0 find roots of f starting from for example zero as initial solution and the final solution is 0 0.9581 and that's the single root of this equation that's it f0 can solve generally nonlinear equations but if the equation has multiple roots then the starting point plays a critical role to find multiple roots for example if you'd like to find roots of a sine function for example f0 uh, find the roots of for example cosine function starting from 0 finds the minus pi divided by 2 we know that its cosine is equal to 0 and if you start from for example half radians it will converge to the positive value if you start from for example 3.5 radians it will convert to a higher value and uh, the starting point determines which root we will find at last and that's very important to start from a good point to have all of roots of multiple root equations okay we've learned how to use f0 to find the zeros of nonlinear equations Thank you.